Hey, what's up? This is Mikey for Electric, and this is our first ride in the Cadillac Lyric. Now, the Lyric is Cadillac's very first electric vehicle, joining the electric compact SUV class of 2022. But real quick, this vehicle is on par with the competition, offering 312 miles of range and a truly intriguing starting MSRP of around $60,000. This whip has all the trappings of a real Cadillac and impresses in many ways. General Motors was proud to say that they spared no expense making this car from the ground up with zero pre-packaged parts and uniformity dragging them down. As a matter of fact, this is Cadillac's first electric vehicle and they will only be making electric vehicles from here on out. Yes, you heard that right. The gas-powered caddies are being put out to pasture. So is this Lyric the fantastic kickoff or just a freshman effort? Uh, it's a little bit of both, but mostly one of those. On the fantastic side, there is a lot of Cadillac in this Cadillac. The striking exterior really does look like a powerful fluid vehicle with a strong stance and exclusive appeal. The side of the vehicle looks pretty sleek and classy, and the front end has a very strong approach with a power punch at each arrival. The lighting in the front end is really cool, with the vertical headlights bringing the modern Cadillac design. What's the really fun part is actually inside the car and there's so many bells and whistles that I can't remember them all. The interior materials provide a great texture and feeling inside with intentional applications of ash wood, diamond grid, and even a rubberized dashboard that pretty much every other car has this made out of just plastic. And throughout the interior, there are little sparkles in a few points that give this vehicle a sense of jewelry. The cup holders have a really cute little folding middle section to accommodate mugs with handles, which is actually quite practical aside from being just fun. The vehicle has a compartment that Cadillac calls a jewelry box. To me, this so-called jewelry box just reminds me of a large ashtray. Makes me think of the good old days with smoking Uncle Vic, who I later learned wasn't related to me at all. Anyways, the Lyric has faux leather seats that are plush and comfortable with a gentle headrest that actually features speakers inside the wings. As you might expect from Cadillac, these seats have a heating function, ventilation, lumbar support, and also a massage feature. Of course, the seats move up and down, but I was actually quite surprised at how high and how low that they could move. Other user controls are right where you would expect them, with the dynamic control dial for fast and easy access. The knobs on the passenger side air vents are actually really neat, something I never thought I would say in my life. The joystick directional controls are nothing new, but these knobs can also be turned to control the speed of the fan. A very amazing, but still hidden feature. In the back seat, they've got plenty of room, air vents, charging options, and a wonderful view through that spacious glass roof. The rear cargo area is about on par, nothing special there, but it does feature trunk accessible buttons to release the folding seats. I like that quite a bit. So let's take a hard turn and talk about how the Lyric drives. And man, oh man, does this Cadillac feel really nice. For a compact SUV, it doesn't feel tight at all. I would describe the suspension as being fluffy and combined with the large cabin and the sound dampening measures, it makes the vehicle feel like driving on a dreamy cloud. All these interior accents come to life when you're gliding along the road in this private carriage. As you might imagine, we didn't really take the vehicle off-road that much because I don't know how much of it is really made for that purpose. So maybe it's nostalgia, but despite the SUV platform, this Cadillac Lyric, it felt less like this. And it felt more like this. Now, I'm not going to say that the Lyric is a low rider by any means, but compared to the competition, this rear wheel drive version that we drove, it felt like a slow rider, but honestly, that's fine by me. The Cadillac team has done some very innovative things to reduce the road noise and make this feel like an even more luxury vehicle. Cadillac has actually installed predictive road noise canceling measures that utilize the speaker system inside the vehicle. Basically, the suspension is reporting the road vibration and the sound system matches that frequency to precisely cancel out the noise. This is the same kind of technology that's used in noise-canceling headphones. 
With this new tech combined with the wide wheelbase, solid materials, and creature comforts on the inside, it makes for a smooth driving experience that is only possible with a native Cadillac electric vehicle. We've been there, right? I mean, our first time driving an electric vehicle, we're all astonished by how smooth they are, among other things, but they are very smooth. This Caddy has got all of that in spades, and I am super excited to see more of this and future electric vehicles from General Motors' flagship luxury brand. And actually, I'm not the only one who's excited. The entire Cadillac team works so hard to get this vehicle out as fast as possible that they have first customers who are getting their cars as early as this week. The vehicle is sold out for 2022 and also 2023. At some point, they're going to open up reservations or hand raisers or some kind of low-level commitment process for the 2024 model year. So if you don't have your place in line by now, the rest of this review might not actually apply to you because the vehicles that we drove had some peculiarities that I think maybe Cadillac intends to fix in the future. And here they are. On this event, we didn't get to try out General Motors Super Cruise, which is on these vehicles. Hopefully that's resolved by now since deliveries are supposed to be commencing. But the most obvious compromise that Cadillac has made is actually with the door handles. To open up the car, it's a two-step process. One must press in the handle, which is actually just a handle-shaped button, and then it will prop open the door. From there, the driver can pull open the door either by just pulling on it, or there is a hook handle that is located at the base of the window. In the back doors, you don't have a handle, you just gotta pull on the door itself. So, sorry guys. Another peculiarity was the lack of a heads-up display, or what is sometimes called augmented reality. Instead, the early Lyric vehicles that we did, they just show a red flashing warning when the assist system becomes scared. Now, I'm going to guess that these two issues are the result of a shortage of parts across the industry, and we're going to see General Motors adapt in real time. The charger port was also a little bit lackluster for an otherwise impressive vehicle. The door actuator doesn't really exude the luxury branding of Cadillac. And also, in snowy environments, the little alcove that this charger sits in can build up with snow and ice. And if it gets bad enough, it'll be a headache if you're trying to be punctual. Another strange thing is actually the hood. I was actually kind of surprised at this at first because the Lyric does not feature a storage area at all. Then it was brought to my attention that the Federal Motor Safety Vehicle Standards require an internal release for a compartment of that size. But hey, in this Cadillac at least you get a glove box. I can always count on them to do that, unlike some people. Toyota. Subaru. Okay, wrapping up. It's a strange environment these days where it feels like we are driving a prototype with unfinished features or missing parts. The first drive event with the Lyric vehicle really highlighted part shortages in some unsightly ways. In this dearth, most every other automaker is coming out with an electric vehicle of the same shape. But what everyone else doesn't have is the Cadillac heritage of a brand name that has become synonymous with high-end luxury. Will General Motors be able to source enough parts to deliver that experience that the design team has created? Well, actually, you can stay tuned to electrek.co to find out. Stay in the know with our up-to-date reporting. Thanks for watching Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I will see you on the later.